Hello again everyone, we are once again back in line and today is set H. So we're getting that done shortly and I realized that my mouse does actually not appear on recording. <laughs> so when I was saying, when I was pointing at to a particular thing, thinking that you guys would see what I was pointing at, there was no way for you to see what I was actually pointing at. So that's my bad. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. I'll have to figure out something in terms of... I'll just have to be more specific with what I'm talking about in, in that kind of format. Cause that is not necessarily the greatest thing to happen there. So, bit of an oversight by me, but well, we'll work it out. That has to be that one. Uh, I have to say though, I'm very, very pleasant, uh, pleasantly surprised with the amount of stuff that's in this game. I mean, there's not really anything that you could say from the standpoint of additional content, because there's not really anything that's necessarily needed to this game. Uh, the only thing I could think of maybe would be to, like, uh, use a submitted bubbles or something along that line, but it's still not necessarily needed as much. I mean, they have the daily levels, so that's additional stuff on top of the sets that already exist in the game. Uh, the only other thing I could really think of would be to have a user submit a uh, like a user a level generator, or have some have some kind of feature for users to be able to create and submit their own levels. But even then, it's that that kind of thing's not really completely necessary for the game. I, it's something that would be nice, and it would probably generate some more. An interest in the game, or probably a little bit, just a little bit more interest in the game. But again, it's not something that's needed for how the game functions or how the game works. There's, uh, even though the game doesn't have Steam achievements, there is a possibility for Steam achievements to exist from the standpoint of okay, complete such and such level, complete such and such set. I think of here. Um, get unlocks, unlock your first pallet, unlock X number of pallets. Uh, what else? Uh, complete so many dailies level, uh, daily sets. Uh, Dependent like that. But again, it's not necessarily a necessity for any level whatsoever. On any level whatsoever, for all this extra stuff to exist because it just it doesn't have to. The game stands very well on its own, and there's more than enough content for you to be able to enjoy it for a lengthy amount of time. It's not a game that you're gonna spend 200 hours on, like a Borderlands 2 or what, or like a uh, what else here. That's the only one I can think of, actually. Like a Borderlands 2 or maybe like an MMORPG, uh, games along that line, but it's still something where you can get countless hours into it and there's new content constantly with the daily levels and all that kind of stuff. And you continually unlock more sets and go through them as you play through the game, so that's still available as, as something for you.
Hmm. I've got one line through that four times. So I can get it through. There's a lot of, as you get into these bunch of sets of ones here, there's a lot of doubling back and drawing a line like that, or like this, su such as that, to go through it, so as you go through it somewhere in time, so that would be pretty darn close to the solution for the level. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty darn close. <laughs> They're just different things like that. How you go about it, which makes this game so simple. Because even though, even though the level design and everything is pretty much the same, regardless of whatever you're doing, or what, regardless of the, uh, the levels that you're playing, it still feels new. It doesn't feel like the exact same thing over and over and over at some times. So that's nice and refreshing to see. If puzzle game that's very heavily uh, and based in patterns and the thing, things of the sort, but it's not necessarily dependent dependent on that to be able to uh, execute its execute what it wants to do. A lot of times when you get into puzzle games, like, I mean, I'll go back to an example I used previously in Sudoku, where it's, yeah, it's, Sudoku's great, and it's fun, but it is incredibly, incredibly repetitive. And puzzle, uh, puzzle, game, uh, puzzle games or any pu uh, puzzle-like thing that gets repetitive like that becomes a lot more boring than it does enjoyable. Because so, I mean, you're basically doing the same thing over and over and over, and there's nothing really that new about it. It's still, it's still going to be the same thing. You're still not really getting much difference or variety. Even if you, go, I mean, even with the, even the Sudoku puzzles that are like five by five, they don't really offer anything new. It's really the same. Seeing a game that has the ability is, is very simplistic, but has the ability to still function very, very well on its own without having to be complex is, is great to see. So I gotta somehow pull out this optimum to find it. generator where uh, users can create their own levels and create those own solves and those can be used for the daily levels or anything of that sort but the again the problem with that is a little bit more developing that infrastructure into the game where you I mean yeah it'd be great to have but you're gonna need all the cert you're gonna need the server space you're going to need a whole bunch of other stuff in order to be able to pull that off. And that's... It doesn't really feel like it would fit in this kind of game because it is so minimal. It's a minimalistic game. It's not something that is supposed to need a whole bunch of stuff in order to succeed. So just by itself, kind of 
takes away from that point if you're if you're trying to add all this extra stuff into a game that doesn't really need to depend on all that extra stuff. That seems like it'd be darn close to how it's supposed to be done, but I'm not sure. Because either way I do it, I'm still missing a line. I'm still missing a line through here. So that's that's what I gotta figure out for this particular level is how to get through the answers. It seems like the blue line would be the most, more, much more simple line. But maybe if I go like that, that gives me a little bit extra breathing. Okay, so that does give me a little bit more to work with here. Still run into that issue. Um, Process here. What to do? I'm not certain how this is supposed to work. down here first. I'm still one short. Okay, so I am stuck at a crossroads. I'm not going to lie, I am stuck at a crossroads here. I have to go up in order to take that one. That leaves me an opening except for that line. So I can go kind of like that and be fine except for that edge. Going through it. So I have to leave that one open. So this is this is the problem for me right here. 
to figuring out exactly how to get three lines through there. I got it. Yep, I got it. Alright. Ooh. And that's that's really what I that's the fun part of puzzle games. Is doing something that you're struggling with for a long period of time and then finally being able to figure it out. That's the real fun part of doing these kind of things. Being stuck on something, not quite getting it, not quite knowing exactly, okay, how the hell do I have to do this? And then that moment of realization, it's like, oh, that's how I do it. Aha! Those aha moments are so enjoyable. Now if I can only have another one here. I mean, it's it's fun how there's something there's something that looks so simple, and yet it can be so complex and so difficult at times. But it's also something that's so much fun to be able to do over and over and over. That you don't really have to worry about okay, am I doing this necessarily perfectly, or do I have to do this? Just kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy it. Which is so much fun and so much of a change of pace and as compared to all the other things that are going around in society these days. Just you have to do that you have to do this right, you have to do this right, you have to do this in this particular order and exactly how uh, how somebody else wants you to do it or different things like that that put so much pressure and to be able to go to game uh, Go, uh, go back to games that are just you know, relaxing and fun again, to, it, to the point that you don't have to be you don't have to be this perfect thing, a perfect being, a perfect person in order to be good at something. And that's that's been missing. That's been, that's been missing a lot from today's society and things like that where it's always going to be, okay, we need this now, we need this, it needs to be perfect, it needs to be absolutely flawless. And it was kind of the beauty of what life is by itself, it's just knowing that, hey, kind of just sit back, relax, and do what we love to do. And that's the entire point of being alive in this kind of... Uh, this entire point of human life is knowing, okay, yeah, I've got responsibilities, either where it's work, family, whatever, but there's time for enjoyment as well. It's like, it seems like this, they're so great for that. Where it can be, it can be incredibly relaxing just to sit back and work your mind a little bit, not from the standpoint of having to do something, but just kind of working through an issue that is not necessarily, it's not necessarily, how do I put this, it doesn't have to be strenuous, 
It doesn't have to be on a deadline. There's no time trial in this game. There's no speed clock, no high score table for fastest person to complete such and such set or best or highest completions or most uh, uh, largest completion rate of levels or whatever. It's something that you just kind of enjoy. And I, and I honestly miss that about a lot of different video games or things like that. that it's so competitive now in nature with esports and all that kind of stuff. And th don't get me wrong, it's great, it's, it's fun to watch. It can be great to be a part of if you get the opportunity to do so. But it puts so much stress back in video games. Where it's like, okay, I've got to perform, I lose my job, I don't get to. I don't get to keep doing what I love because somebody else comes along and is better at it than me, so they take my spot. It's all that additional pressure that when you put it on something like video games, it's just it, it can overwhelm pe people just like anything stress-wise overwhelms people from their job, their daily lives, whatever they have to, you know, whatever they are obligated to do on a regular basis that it just it subtracts from really being able to enjoy, enjoy something along those lines where it's just okay I'm sitting here I can do I can just take my time to relax and do what I want to do all over again yeah, so the problematic one for me public Magnetic spot for, for me on this level appears to be right here. I was trying to fix that, shall we? So that's close. is pretty darn close. I think I'm on something here with it. I think that's how I'm supposed to do it, but I gotta fill out one of these. I gotta get it through one of those lines two times, which is becoming the issue for me. It's either this one or this one on the very end. Of course, my definition of fun at this point might be something completely different from yours, but that's okay. Oh, that's... that's it. There we go. 
Yeah, this is this is definitely the set that I've struggled the most on so far, in terms of time spent trying to figure something out. But I'm okay with that. Because the very nature of it, and thinking, okay, I'm, I'm spending more time on this means it's, it's, it's either more difficult, or I'm, I need to start figuring out a different pattern that I, miss, that I haven't before. So just the nature of it being able to evolve like that, from something that's uh, something that you figure out, oh, okay, I've got everything figured out with this game, and you get to a point and you realize, oh no, I don't have everything figured out with this game. And it's almost like rediscovering something over again. It's like, okay, I didn't have everything figured out with how this works, so let me go back, let me learn even more about how things work in this. And we go through that process and continue to get better at something. And the progression of just getting better at something can be... This is actually one of the things I like uh, I liked when I was playing a lot of RPGs. And when you played the game, there was progress. And the, the progress had meaning. It had definite meaning in terms of where you were in the game and what you were able to do. Because, I mean, yeah, it determines your character level, but there's other, other things with it that opened up for wherever you were determining what, you, what your capabilities were. And I like that about RPGs. And some people, do, some people don't really care for that aspect, but that's, that's one of the main things I really enjoyed about playing RPGs is the fact of progression. Where you're doing something, you get, you get to a point, you, uh, you're able to do more stuff. You're, you're able to, you you get more things to do, or you, you're capable enough by your previous experience that all of a sudden you know more, you know more things. You can do, you can do better stuff in the game, or you can, you're more, you're just more skilled, so you have more options available. And so the unlock feature of this of this particular game was okay. You solve this set, you get the next set. You you just solve so many you solve so many uh, sets, you can change your color scheme. Different things like that that show progression that allows you to feel like you accomplish something. So where there's no there's no pressure on you for uh, there's no pressure for you to succeed. There is still something that lets you that is there for you saying hey yeah you did succeed you were able to conquer something uh, conquer this or figure out how to do this from a standpoint of just getting to a place where uh, getting to a point where you're like okay I, I did it and just simple I, I did it and sometimes recognizing the little things the little achievements or successes from day to day can be so it can seem so senile and meaningless but it can mean so much so there you go that is set H I've unlocked set, set P now so I'll go ahead and be doing set I in the near future but if you guys like the video, please click the like button. If you want to be up to date on when new set, uh, new set walkthroughs come out, please subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I hope you guys got a lot out of the video, and you guys have a good day.